Hi everyone, you're here sewing with Cody, and in today's video we aren't actually sewing or showing a Bernina accessory, but we are showing a absolutely awesome new thing that we discovered. Actually, we had it in the shop for about a year before we actually did anything with it, and it's absolutely amazing. It's one of those things I tell anyone who quilts that they need, and that is the Grippy Non-Slip Coating by Odif. It's a French product, and it's absolutely amazing. So let's take a closer look and see what it does. So if you don't know already, uh, Pete and I have our own little merchant shop, which we sell products like the t-shirt with our logo on it, the camera case, which I'm filming with right now, mugs, all kind of fun stuff that you get perfect gifts. We, they've got our logo on them, and they've got other cute sewing motifs. So go check it out. There's a link in the comment section below, or in the description below. But let's get started and talk about this really cool product. Um, it's one of those things that we needed a very, very, very long time ago. Um, so a lot of our customers have been coming to us requesting uh, Quilter Select rulers, which are cutting rulers that have a grip on the back of them. So for years and years, we've been using the Creative Grid rulers. So we have a huge selection of Creative Grid rulers and they have their little patent kind of grip that's on the back of them, um, which helps stabilize your ruler while you're trying to cut. However, they still aren't perfect and especially with a longer ruler like the 24 and a half or if I don't think I have a video on the new uh, creative grid ruler the 12 and a half by 24 and a half which is awesome um, but with those rules especially the longer ones as you're trying to cut the ruler it's usually at the very last few inches the ruler slips out of the way um, and then you end up cutting your two and a half inch strip slightly narrower than that two and a half inch at the very end well, so the Quilter Select rulers have this grip on the back that stabilizes the ruler and the fabric beautifully. They are a little pricey and they don't come in every size. But the downside to that is you would have to replace all your rulers that you probably already have. So with this grippy non-slip coating by Odif, you just spray it on the back of your ruler and it is amazing. So you use all your previous rulers that you've already got and you just, and what I've done is I'll just spray the ruler that I'm working with and so I'm, I'll slowly spray the rulers that I use the most instead of just using all the spray and then getting to a ruler that, oh, I wish I would have sprayed this one earlier on, but you ran out of the spray. So instead of going out and buying more spray and it's just, I just use it as I need it per ruler. But what it is, if you could feel it, it's, it's super neat. It feels like a very, very thin layer of rubber on the back of the ruler. And so it turns the creative grid rules, which are very, very clear, which is one thing that's really nice about them. It turns them a little opaque, but it doesn't obstruct the view of the fabric and the lines at all. But it's, I can't express how amazing this is, how well it holds the fabric. Um, but what's great is I've discovered you really don't need it or you really don't have to just use it for rulers is because I inherited a couple years ago this cute little um, cutting mat which is perfect while I'm trying to like trim little dog ears while I'm cutting or uh, while I'm sewing next to the uh, machine but the problem with it why I never used it was because it was so it's thin um, but it would just slide around the table while I'm trying to cut so it's useless so I thought what if I were to spray some of this on the back of the cutting mat and it it works like a charm it, it doesn't grip the table like there's a thick layer of rubber on the back on the bottom of it, but it holds it very well well enough so I can cut and it's not sliding all over the place so I'm definitely discovering there's more uses to this uh, grippy spray than just for your rulers and so the way this works is on the back of the instructions, which are very, very clearly written on the back of the spray. They recommend that you spray about uh, eight inches away from your ruler. They recommend you uh, going in a ventilated area, so it's best to do it outside. But to be perfectly honest, I have used it a few times just in the sewing room, and it's not, it doesn't have a hu um, huge odor and it does not linger long um, or at all. Um, so you, it doesn't need much. So the instructions do state. Uh, you can do uh, just one thin layer, and I find one layer usually works perfectly fine. Uh, the more layers you add to it, the more opaque the ruler becomes, but it's still not obtrusive at all. You can still see very clearly, um, but the more layers you add, the more grippy it will be. But like I said, one layer is has been perfectly fine. Um, 
But what's also really nice is it dries within seconds. They say wait about a minute before you actually use it, but I've used it in like 20 or 30 seconds after being sprayed and it was perfectly fine. And another question that I know I'm gonna get is does it scrape off? No, it does not scrape off. So I've taken fingernail, I've taken every, well not everything, but I've scraped my fingernails and it doesn't come off at all, which is nice. I'm not saying, over time, it won't come off slightly, um, but it doesn't rub off easy at all, which is nice. So if you do need to remove the uh, grip off the back of the ruler for whatever reason, one, maybe over time it did start rubbing off, or maybe you spread way too much in one spot and you can't see a certain area or, or whatnot, they do have an ODIF, and it's on the back, a ODIF DK5 cleaner. And that's what you need to use, or that's what they recommend using to get uh, this grippy off. I have not tried anything else. Rubbing alcohol may work, um, but I haven't tried because I've had, there's been no need for me to remove this gripper from the rulers yet. But there, there is a product that they make that they recommend for removing the gripper off the back of the ruler. But again, I haven't tried anything else. But that's it, that's all I really wanna make this video about was to show you this really cool new product. Like I said, it's new to, it's new to us using it. Um, when they pretty much first released it, it might have been before the pandemic, so it may have been two years ago, and we've just been kind of sitting on it. And it wasn't until just a few weeks ago that I was like, let me try this. Um, Cause we've had a lot of inquiries about the Quilter Select rulers, which we've used and they are amazing. They are a little pricey and they would require you to buy potentially rulers you already have. This allows you to use the rulers that you already have. So that's really nice, and you can use it on the back of other things. Um, so a super, super cool product. So go check your quilt store and see if they have the ODIF Grippy Non-Stick Spray, oh, I'm sorry, Non-Slip Spray. Um, if not, tell them to get it because it is worth every penny, and it's not, not that expensive. I think it was less than $10, um, or right around $10. At least at our shop it was, but it's it's worth every penny. Uh, another question I may I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get is about how many rulers can you um, spray with this bottle? Keep notes, it's a fairly small bottle, but you don't need much. Um, we've sprayed probably about seven or eight rulers so far, and some of them yes have been small, but some of them have been bigger, um, and we still probably have about a half a can or two. I'm sorry, about a half a can or so. Um, so my guess, Grant, I haven't used a whole can yet, but my guess would be about 20 or so rulers, um, about, but it's way cheaper and way more efficient than replacing your rulers that you already have with something different. All right, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out the merchant shop. It's in the uh, description, the link's in the description. It just, merchandise sold off of that shop just helps support the channel to bring more videos like this. All right, as always, happy sewing.